What's up guys? So I'm making a quick video. I'm street leveling my SSR 125 right now in the process. Um, I want to make a quick video because there's not too many videos on it. There's a lot of videos on how to necessarily wire in a headlight possibly into your SSR or any pit bike that has a stator that isn't grounded, that has two wires coming out of it that will produce your AC voltage. So I'm going to explain this the easiest way possible. Um, so you're going to have off your coil, you should have five wires if you're lucky enough. Two will be connected to nothing. This is what <clears throat> this is what produces your AC voltage actually. So what you need to do is you need to buy what's called a voltage rectifier. What this will do is it will convert that voltage from AC to DC, then regulate it into a 12 volt system. So what you do is you have a couple wires here. On mine specifically, you want to buy a four one, not a five one. So what you do. Your yellow and your pink. I believe it does not matter. Don't quote me on this. What side it goes into as long as it's going into each of these. Okay. This will, so usually your stator will produce about at idle 20 volts AC. We'll go higher, but some rectifiers, which is this, is necessary to run off a battery. Mine specifically is, so I am wiring mine into a battery. So it will be a full charging system. So the red wire, that is actually your power. That is what's your 12 volt DC power will come out of. Your green is your ground. So what you need to do is you need to ground this to something. I personally have all my grounds going onto the engine block. Just to ground the block, the block's grounded to the frame. So your frame also will work as a ground if you can find a better spot. It's just a lot easier because it's right here. So once you have the yellow and the pink connected to your, to your stator, you have your green connected to your ground. Line. You need to run your power wire, so you see two wires, don't worry about that, just imagine one wire coming off here. So you need to want, run one wire all the way to a battery. Personally, this is the easiest way, I, the only spot actually on this bike I can route a battery. I'm going to build a battery box right now, I am just have it in here to just mock up and I heat wrap the exhaust in that portion just to make sure it doesn't get too hot. Um, I will build a battery box, a custom battery box in this whole area and then heat wrap that as well to keep as much heat away from the battery as possible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna run this power wire from here to your battery, to your positive of your battery. And then for the negative, basically is as simple as running one wire to your frame, your frame ground right there. And then after that, you're like, okay, I have that. So do I wire everything to the battery or off of where you connected to your rectifier? It honestly doesn't matter because it all, because since this wire is going to the battery, you can do it to the battery, but you need to wire in a switch. Cause it will, right now this thing has constant voltage. You need to actually wire in some switch or some people can do like an ignition key. I'm just gonna run a switch cause I'm not worried about it getting stolen or anything. But um, you need to run a switch or ignition into this to actually shut off the constant power. Because if I touch these wires together right now, which is for my headlight, they will spark and you don't want that. Also, you need to run an inline fuse off this power wire right here. Because if you don't, if it gets too much power, it will catch shit on fire. Right now I'm just in the mock-up process, so I'm still learning doing this. I'm not 100% professional, I just didn't see a better video on it. So, so far this will actually produce, right now, factory stator about 13.5 volts DC, which is more than enough to actually power your headlight and your taillight. And then all you need to do to run like your powers and your grounds for your headlight and taillight is run another ground for every headlight, taillight, and a wire. A bug just flew in my mouth. Uh, you need to run a positive wire again off of your headlight. You should run a fuse with that as well. But yes, that's all you got to do basically. And then right now these are just my connections for my... Um, my high, my low beam, high beam, my horn, I haven't wired that in yet, but I'm just mocking everything up, but I will make more update videos. Um, don't worry about these wires, these just come off your coil. They produce way too much AC to do anything with. Um, if you like the video, please comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm not a pro, I'm not an expert, but I can help you out the best I can. Um, just leave a like, comment, subscribe.